Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, first I sympathize with the colleagues who accept to be appointed ministers. Why do I sympathize? The minister for Kampala, when you asked her to respond, she was as crying as any other member of this parliament. We did this, we did this, we did this. I don't know why you accept to be ministers in a government like this. <clears throat> and I am saying this deliberately, Mr. Speaker, because I have seen here I have seen the Vice President and the Prime Minister after their appointment going to Guru to, to thank General Sari. You all have contributed to creating this disaster of one man taking every decision. That's why all of you here, Cabinet, you are here crying. Why don't you convene a Cabinet meeting and take a decision? You, you come to Parliament to cry. So what do you want us to do? Mr. Speaker, Chitezi, <clears throat> Chitezi was one of the villages I represented in the 9th Parliament. The solution cannot be transferring that particular problem to Mukono, as my colleague, the Honorable Abdullah Chiwanuka, has said. People who live in Chitezi, even before the death, because the waste you put there is not processed. It has attracted all the dogs in the world. <laughs> all the flies. The trucks that carry garbage from Kampala maybe are supposed to be carrying firewood. They go dropping garbage from every point. The Honorable Chuan Kabdara says he doesn't want a garbage to be taken but they will be passing through my constituency. We will also stop you because we, we don't want to be turned into another side. Because by the time these trucks reach Tez, they have dropped 10% of the garbage <laughs> along the way. <laughs> That's why that whole area smells. And the road from Gayaza goes through, to my, const through my constituency to Mukono North. Please find another way. Maybe you can ask the president to offer his job. Because we will not allow you to use our villages uh, uh, on your way to Mukono. Mr. Speaker, I have visited National Water. They process and actually turn uh, the fist into fertilizer. I have visited two of their sites. What stops you from acquiring equipment to process this garbage that you go and post there? Because that's all that you are doing. And Mr. Speaker, finally, the, this disaster, the one of Mwada has reported here, even when I was the MP for the whole area before it was subdivided, I came here and cried. The World Bank has early. Yeah, for us, you can only cry we are not in the government. I am only surprised that even government people cry. Because it's understandable, the only one can cry. But when the minister of Kampala joining him in crying, then you wonder who is in charge. <laughs> so the, the World Bank that uh, sponsored that uh, dump site recommended in a report written more than five years ago, please decommission. The minister says, uh, We have also been saying the same thing. I, I don't know where we should go. So, the point I am making, finally, Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> first, I don't think it makes sense to transport garbage from Chengera, from Entebbe, from everywhere, and move in one direction. We need to start, uh, because we, we don't have a landfill, my proposal would be 
to spread them, to decentralize this service, such that people on Masaka Road can find a place there. People on uh, Mitiana Road can find a space there. But otherwise, this disaster has killed people. But you don't know how many people are now diseased as a result of dropping garbage almost at every point from Kampala to Kitezi. We may not have done a research. Maybe that needs to be done also. Because I, 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 I should have appealed to government to do something. But I don't know who I should ask there because they, they are also crying. Maybe, Mr. Speaker, you will be the one to go to speak to the one person who runs this country on our behalf. Because, you see, the moment he, it's not only the garbage, everything, once it comes to the time of decommissioning and you don't decommission, It's a problem. Even uh, the NRM itself. I think the time to do commission it came long ago. <laughs> These problems that we are seeing now as a result of not decommissioning NRM the right time. So we are now paying the price. This is just one illustration, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I, I can see why Semuja and Tim have decided to commission FDC. Oh, one of our is not happy with that. Yes, I had around one of our Ah, Thank you, right, Honorable Speaker. Right, right Honorable Speaker, we are all feeling sorry for what happened in Chitezi. But, uh, the problem is on waste segregation. As uh, my